Hello everyone, my name is Iris and welcome to Rustic Fly. Uh, today I'm gonna be reacting to Ricky Gervais' War. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Now, when I'm at home, I watch hours and hours of Discovery Channel and History Channel. Hours, Discovery Same Channel, here. History Channel. Ask me anything about sharks and Nazis. <laughs> um, Round of applause there for. There's not. They're not. They're not as bad as a lot of people make out. Um, sharks, I mean. Nazis, awful. Right. Sharks, brilliant. Amazing creature. Okay. It can hone in on a floundering fish, right? Through the vibrations that it picks up through electrical impulses, through sensors yeah. in its flank. It doesn't need its eyes, but contrary to popular belief, their eyes are very good. Okay. But it can smell and taste One the slightest mile. human secretion of blood and sweat. One part in a billion from a mile away. Yeah. A shark would have found Anne Frank like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nazis, rubbish. I didn't even I've been to her house. It's tiny. <laughs> Every day they went in. Okay, let's move on. Sarge, can we look upstairs today? No, there's no one down here. Move on. Sarge, what's that tapping? <laughs> it's a memoir. <laughs> she had time to write a book, for Christ's sake. Well, it ends a bit abruptly. No sequel. Lazy. No, but... <laughs> Not a traditional subject for comedy. The old Holocaust. But I will say something about the Holocaust, and I'm sticking my neck out here, but in my opinion, I blame Adolf Hitler. <laughs> he was the Obviously. ringleader. Old Adolf. That name's died out, hasn't it? <laughs> he killed that dead, didn't he? No one's calling their kid Adolf nowadays. No little Adolf's going to school. Loads of Brad's and Angelina's, but no, look, you don't hear the teacher doing the register. Brad here, Angelina here, Adolf here. Uh, <laughs> I, I love this man. Someone can take a picture of me doing that. Um, He's awesome. I love this man. No, but people make excuses for him. People say, uh, uh, oh, he was stupid, he was easily led, he didn't, he didn't mean that. What do you mean he didn't mean oh, that? They say, oh no, he was influenced by the political philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, right? Because Nietzsche wrote this uh, paper um, talking about a, a superman. He, he said, not all men are born equal. And Hitler misinterpreted this and went way too far with it. And uh, way too far? Six think of that. You're a great scholar, you've done this work, and you get a call from the Fuhrer. And the Fuhrer goes... All right, Nietzsche. Yes. Yeah, good. What do you want? He goes, just read your book. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Love all that. Man and Superman. Not everyone's equal. Kill all the Jews. Sorry? <laughs> not everyone's equal, so kill all the Jews. I didn't like that. Yeah. I read between the lines. <laughs> I read between the lines. I, I, I didn't mean that. That's terrible. Have you... You haven't, been killing, you, haven't, you haven't been killing Jewish people, have you? What? <laughs> Don't dodge the question. Have you been killing Jewish people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah man. A few. Six fucking million, man. How many? <coughs> Six million. <laughs> six million? That's what I won't do anymore. Leave it. Leave it at six. That's terrible. I won't do anymore. Stay for dinner? Well, I will, but be careful in future. <laughs> I will. Are you writing any other books? Well, I am, but I'm scared to tell you about it. I won't do anything. What's your new book called? My new book is called The Gypsies. Do we need them? <laughs> Gypsies, do we need them? Cheers. No, don't applaud that. We shouldn't, we shouldn't talk about such things. It's not like we're in peace times now, is it? There's a, a little thing going on in a country called Iraq, which is not my favourite war. My favourite war is... Um, <laughs> my favourite war. Oh, so many. Um, 
They got they're good for different reasons. Falklands. He's talking about it like picking up his favourite songs. Because uh, we won that one, and uh, it was great. It was against uh, Argentina. Yeah, weird. Um, we're going to war with Argentina. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> The reason it's my uh, favourite war is that it, it was a range war. And what that means is the Argentine guns could fire nine kilometres. The British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our ships <laughs> 10 kilometres away. And theirs were falling into the sea. And we were shelling the shit out of them. <laughs> it's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> What an analogy! He's flayed it, and you're just kicking him in the bollocks, like that. Oh, good old Ricky. Vietnam, best soundtrack. That's true. Second World War, best ending. That had to be the end, that was a great finale, you yeah. couldn't follow that, could you? People are worried about that, they go, oh, atomic energy, oh, it's bad, the effects are still being felt today, but... Oh, it ended a war, and that's good. Yeah. And it was discovered by Einstein, and he's a genius. And in his 1903 paper, he said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies that when irradiated onto an unstable... Ma what maniac thinks like that, <laughs> really? I'm not a doctor, but I think that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mad, too much thinking. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the universe is expanding. Of course it is, Stephen. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Take a day off. Go for a walk. Not a walk, but I mean... <laughs> you know, open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You love that, don't you? He's done an interview with Stephen Hawking, you know that. He's a huge Greatest fan. Greatest mind on the planet. <laughs> People say, oh, we should never go at Stephen Hawking. Oh, he's a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretentious. <laughs> Born in Oxford and talks with that fake American accent. <laughs> So, that was Ricky Gervais' War, and the thing is, I actually have seen the whole setup, and I completely forgot most of it, except that Falkland joke, I remember that, and uh, when he's talking about, uh, what do you call it, uh, his favourite war, it's, he's talking like he's picking a fucking favourite movie or a song, and he's thinking about it, like, you know, going nuts, like, what the fuck? Like, that's sort of, that's why I love Ricky, man, he's absolutely brilliant, and that midget joke, like, People don't even use the word midget anymore, and he's just comparing it to uh, Falkland War to holding a midget at arm length and kicking him in the balls at the same time. Like, what a fucking analogy! It's brilliant analogy. It's so funny. It's absolutely brilliant. I love the whole thing. And Nietzsche, uh, the book is absolutely brilliant, and it's just. I love Ricky, man. He's absolutely brilliant. How he's talking about uh, how, what do you call it, uh, Nazi couldn't find Anne Frank, uh, even though she was in her attic. <laughs> and he's like, you can hate the, what do you call it, her typing, her book. And it's absolutely brilliant, man. I love, I love Ricky, man. He's hilarious. He's absolutely brilliant. And I hope you did too. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.